house dress and house coat so this is about gardening ain't nobody trying to be cute right now okay uh, in any event what I'm talking about today is sustainable versus non-sustainable and I wanted to clarify some, some things for you it's getting embarrassing I'm watching gardeners from the Western world versus other countries and you know, some people are humble even in the United States. And I'm watching these fancy gardeners recommend stuff like $30 trellises or um, $50 panels and all this expensive stuff. And I'm just trying to grow $5 worth of tomatoes here or um, $5 worth of cabbages. You know, I buy cabbages at the grocery store for a dollar. I'm trying to grow five of them. That, to me, translates into five dollars, you know? Five pounds of tomatoes, you know? Okay, I, I, I eat probably about 100 pounds of tomatoes, so even at 100 pounds of tomatoes, if I spent a hundred dollars on the trellis, I could have just bought my 100 pounds of tomatoes at the store, you know? Even organic, I'd pay two dollars a pound. I'm certainly not gonna pay um, 30 dollars a pound because one tomato plant may get me five pounds of tomatoes if I'm lucky, more likely I'm hoping to get two pounds of tomatoes. And if I spent 30 bucks on the trellis for that thing, that's not sustainable. Do you guys understand? It's not sustainable. Now, here's another thing. I was talking to my mother. She's like, oh yeah, you bought the seed. You, you put a little fertilizer on it, you're good. I said, did you count your insecticides? Those bottles of insecticides cost 20 bucks. Not only are they expensive, but they're toxic. So if you're gardening to be healthy, to eat healthy food, and then you're buying poison, you're increasing your risk of cancer. Do you know that there's a commercial on Roundup that says that people who are using it all the time are getting cancer or even dying, but you might still be buying it because you don't think that's gonna happen to you, okay? I'm not willing to take the risk. I just had to show you the stunner show my dahlias are putting on oh my goodness look at that that this little you know miniature dahlia has one two three four blooms so far and as you can see she's not quitting i just put some um steer manure compost blend on her and she's that's just absolutely amazing and gorgeous. And she has extended herself outside of the pot so she could have room. She created her own stage. Oh my goodness. I hope. Let me just close up for you. Look at her. Ah! Gorgeous. I'm trying to catch my worm control program on camera there are these little birds that live in my trees and they come out you saw them flitting there and they eat aphids yeah so and they're big enough to where they can fly away and outdo the ants so i got bugs but i got them under control because i got trees oh there there, see, there's, there's my um, worm control program. Now, if I were to go and show you a close-up, he just got him a worm and went on about his business. These little guys have an insatiable appetite. How did I attract them? With this, those are raspberries. 
not much food on raspberries really, but it attracts birds. These are my same parsnip plants, but these parsnips have, um, you know, aphids and worms and all kinds of goodies that, that the birds like just as well as they like raspberries. So after raspberry season is over, if you look, he's hiding from me. He thinks maybe I'm hunting little birds, but I'm not. <laughs> You're doing what I want you to do. I provided you with a place to make my garden sustainable. Guess what? I'm still here. Jesus loves you, and I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful.